welcome everybody to the second of Digital Charcuterie's Marvel United gameplay videos. And even though it's the second, it's the first of hopefully a brand new series of holiday gameplay videos. Um, shout out to my good YouTube friend, Mr. The Meeple Monkey. Uh, his channel does not have the word Mr. in it. I'm just adding that as an honorific, but The Meeple Monkey does some really great wonderful United gameplay videos, and he has themed some of them around holidays and such. And I thought, what a great inspiration for gameplay, because I was looking for reasons to do gameplay videos and themes and such, and that right there is a perfect place to start. So, seeing as how right now it is American Thanksgiving, I've decided to kick off a 12-episode uh, series here, a gameplay series, where every month we will play a game of Marvel United based off of a holiday in that particular month. Now, I'm from the good old Canada, and in Canada, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October where we're supposed to. Uh, Americans, y'all do things a little bit backwards, but that's okay. Uh, there's more of you than there are of us, so I figured why not just celebrate American Thanksgiving with this Thanksgiving-themed game of Marvel United. Here we have these three awesome powerhouse ladies who are all carrying swords. That's the one thing they have in common. These are ladies with carving knives. And what are they gonna carve? A big old fat turkey by the name of Vulture. Vultures kind of look like turkeys anyway. There's the jerk. There he is. He thinks he's so high and mighty with his wings and his robberies. So today is going to be three ladies with knives carving up a big old turkey for Thanksgiving. And who knows, we might make Marvel United history here today because out of the 400 plus games I have played, I have never, not once, been able to defeat the Vulture. And if you're a United fan, you know how difficult this guy is. So maybe I will crash and burn again for like the seventh time facing this dude. Or maybe, just maybe, you guys will help give me some Thanksgiving luck and we can carve this turkey and serve them up with gravy. We'll see what happens. So, uh, just a quick rundown of what we've got here, uh, just so you can see the state of things. Uh, Vulture, in case you don't know, when he bans, he steals a crisis token, which are called spoils, from his location, and then he moves all heroes to the location opposite to him, which is super annoying. Anybody in his location can prevent that effect by taking two damage. If he overflows, he also steals a spoil, and he wins, if he steals seven spoils, because there's three characters. Uh, and those are the spoils there, those crisis tokens. We've got Madripoor on the board. We've got the throne room of Asgard. We've got Arthros, which I've never been to, but I hear it's lovely this time of year. We've got the Bifrost Bridge, one of my favorite locations. The Excalibur Lighthouse, another one of my favorite locations. And last but not least, we have Kreelar, uh, where there's a grenade bombing going on, so that's never fun. So... Vulture is going to be going around trying to steal stuff. He's got Sandman and Craven helping him out for some reason. Those dudes play well with each other, I guess. And our job, take these ladies here and carve him up before he can steal seven spoils. Wish me luck, everybody. Fingers crossed. Let's get this Thanksgiving dinner started. Okay, this is only my second gameplay video, so I'm probably screwing a bunch of stuff up but let's see what happens. Let's see if we get lucky against the Vulture. Unfortunately, he has to go first. Such is the way of things. So let's draw his first card. And it's one of the worst possible cards we could have drawn. Heist Plan. If this is not the first Heist Plan card in the storyline, steal one Crisis Token from each location without heroes. The fact that he has one out so early means he's going to bring them out very quickly and start ruining us. But at least that tells us something. Each location without heroes. So in order to strategize, we've got to split up. That's the name of the game here. Cover a lot of ground. Okay. Because if we don't, he can he's liable to get... He could get five crisis tokens with this card if we're not careful. So yuck. No thank you. All right. Phyla Vel is going to go first. This is my very first time using Phyla Vel. Um, so I'm... I'm really curious to see what I can do with her. I want to get rid of Sandman because Sandman's annoying, so I think I might actually use her Quantum Sword to do three damage to him right here. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to quantum sword. Boom, boom, boom. Three damage to Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. And he's already down to one health. Okay? That's not too shabby at all. Now it's Psylocke's turn. Uh, okay, Psylocke is... Psylocke's, uh, Psylocke's not bad. Psylocke's not bad. So I do want to cover ground with the heroes. So I'm going to play this wild right here. I'll save the double wild for a little later. I am going to play this wild and hopefully make it come into focus. There we go. And that is going to be played right here. So now I've got a wild and a punch. So let's use that punch to get rid of the Sandman. Boom! Turn two, and we are one henchman down already. The Bifrost Bridge is open, and then I'm going to use the wild to move Psylocke to Arthros. And just kind of chill there. And it's dangerous because he can bomb me, but let's chill there. Let's just get her separate from the crew for now. Okay. And Valkyrie also has drawn her double wild, which is interesting. Okay, so what I think I am going to do is I'm going to play a move and a punch for Valkyrie. Okay. And that is going to let me do this. Valkyrie is going to move. She's going to punch this thug. And then she's going to use Psylocke's Wild to move to the throne room. So, we've covered some ground. We've gotten rid of Sandman, who has a very annoying effect. I think we're going to be... Oh, I'm not going to jinx it and say we're going to be okay. You know what? I am not going to jinx it. All right. Vulture's turn. If we get another heist plan right now, that sucks, but it could be way worse. Let's see. Okay, we do not have a heist plan. We have a four and a bam and then a bunch of thugs. All right. So let's see where that takes him. He's going to move four. One, two, three, four. He's going to bam, which means he steals one spoil from his location. Boom. And then his henchman bam. Craven deals two damage to one here on this location. Nobody's there. That's a nasty, nasty Craven card. And then Vulture is going to drop thugs. Lots of thugs. Uh, we don't want overflow. Overflow equals bad. So he's going to put two there, and he's going to put two there. Okay. He has one spoil out of seven. Oh, and I almost forgot, and I had to backtrack myself here, that when he bams, everybody's got to move to the location opposite him, which is super annoying. Okay, so now that I've got Phyla Vell's cards here, she's got this card called Negabands, gain two star tokens. This is her starting hand card, by the way. Gain two star tokens. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may discard any number of star tokens to prevent the same amount of damage dealt to you. <sighs> That's not bad. That's not bad. So, tell you what. Why don't we play that right now? And give her two star tokens. Okay, so those are hers. And then she's got to move a punch and a star. So let's take Phyla Bell and move her here. And punch a thug and rescue a civilian. Let's do that. Okay, and now Psylocke, who I've already drawn for, um, I think these double wilds would sure be nice. But we're so far away from everything. Um, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to play the double wilds. Those are going to be played because I, I really want to keep overflow from happening. So that double wild is going to allow her to move two spaces and then she's going to use Philavel's star to rescue that civilian there. Okay? That sounds fair to me. Oh, and now this is very handy. This is very handy. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to use a move and a punch. Thankfully, I've been given that lovely double wild. So I'm going to use one wild to move here. The move to move here. And then the second wild and the punch to get rid of these two guys. And I think we're safe if we stay there. I'm not going to use the Bifrost just yet. Okay. Let's see where Vulture goes. 
He's got another four and a bam. Okay, so he's going to move one, two, three, four. He's going to do a grenade bombing, but there's nobody there to bomb. Then he's going to steal that and put that there. And then move everybody there. Uh, Craven still doesn't hurt anyone, thankfully. And then Vulture's going to drop a bunch of civilians. So he's dropping two there. And then he's putting one on the Bifrost, and he's putting one in the throne room. And there he goes. Okay. So far, I'm still not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. <laughs> I'm too frightened of the Vulture right now. Okay, so time to draw a card for Philavel, and what do you know, she drew her double wild as well. So we've got all our double wilds in play, more or less. Craven might be pretty annoying, so you know what? I feel like I might be able to get rid of Craven with another Quantum Sword card. Because if I move, that's four punches. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I am going to move Phyla. One with that move, and then one, two, three, four punches with the Quantum Sword. That's exactly how much I need to get rid of Craven. So now we don't have to worry about Vulture moving us into that spot and getting hurt by Craven. Um, and that lets us look at the Master Plan deck by sacrificing the card. So maybe that'll come in handy, but right now, no. Okay. Psylocke, it's your turn. You've got a punch from Phyla. What do I want to get you to do? Hmm. There's a lot of punches happening here. I want to save that telepathy for when I can get in the same spot as Vulture. Or no, sorry, I want to save this for Psionic Blast for when I get in the same spot as Vulture. Telepathy, I want to save for when there's a big... Oh, I guess I could... Actually, yeah. I could do that now. All right, let's do that now. I'm going to swap the previous hero card in the storyline with any other hero card in the storyline. So I'm going to take Phyla's punch and swap it with my own double wild. So we're going to use one wild to rescue this civilian right here. Put him there. Then we'll use the move to go here. And the last wild to drop a star token on that spot. Lovely. Now, it's Valkyrie's turn, and she's got this great war song that can let her move around, which is going to come in very handy. So, I think what I would like to do is... Hmm... Still a lot of spots on the board that he could potentially overflow. All right, I'm going to use a war song right now to move her there. And then I will use that punch to get rid of this guy. Because either way, I could have taken her to Bifrost um, for a similar result, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I've just shot myself in the foot. All right, Vulture, what are you doing? Boom. Two, bam. Okay. Yep. So he is going to overflow. Ugh, sucks. Okay, but let's do this one step at a time. He's got a two. He's going to go flappity, flappity, bam. He's going to steal one crisis token. Any hero in Vulture's location can prevent this and prevent him moving them by taking two damage. So you know what? Philavel is going to take two damage, but she's going to soak it with those star tokens that she got. So... She can do that. He does not take a spoil. He does not move anybody. The only thing he's doing is dropping thugs, which will unfortunately give him a spoil, but at least we held back the tide of doom for a little while. So he's going to put two thugs there, and he wants to put two there, but he can't, so he's going to steal one spoil from there. Okay. And nobody moves. Okay. All right. We're getting there. All right, Phylavel. Nice work, Miss Phylavel. 
Well, okay. We, there's a lot, there's a lot of overflow that could happen here. So let's give her this, move in a punch. And let's just go here, move, and do two punches, and just get those guys out of the way. All right. Psylocke. Hmm. She's so punch heavy. And right now we need... We don't want to punch right away. No oh boy. Okay. This is not good for us. Not good for us. All right. Let's, uh, very annoying. Let's play this. I can't punch two thugs. I cannot get rid of a mission right away. It's too fast. I'm just going to have to go here and punch one and waste two other hole punches because, yeah, there's nothing else I can do. God, that sucks. Okay. And double sucks because she's just more punchy-punchy right now, too. Uh, so Valkyrie cannot move unless I play War Song, but I don't want to play War Song right now. Ugh. This is very annoying. Okay. Oh boy. All right, let's play her star. Let's just play her star and rescue a civilian. That's it. That's <laughs> what a waste of a turn, but there's really the cards were just terrible. And of course, he's got a heist plan. Of course he does. So he's going to move three. One, two, three. And he's going to steal one crisis token from each location without heroes. So one, two, three. All he needs is one more and he wins. This is... Ugh, okay. All right, Philovel. What are you going to do for us? What are you going to do for us? Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the double wild. We can't waste any more time. Just going to use one wild to rescue a civilian. Just going to use another wild to move here. And another wild to rescue another civilian. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play Psylocke's Psionic Blast. I'm going to use one punch to punch this thug right here, which clears this mission, which is terrifying. But I'm going to use those two wilds to just move to Vulture Space and attach a stunned token. I don't have any stun tokens handy, but I'm going to attach a stun token to the Vulture. Um, and that's going to... Cancel his ban on his next turn, okay? So hopefully there's a ban here. And there's no ban here. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, Vulture's going to move one. And because he landed there, every hero in that location takes two damage. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to have to discard two cards from Phyla. And discard two cards from Valkyrie, and then he's, whoops, he's going to put two civilians there, one there, and one there. Okay. Well, that could not have gone worse. It is now Valkyrie's turn. Um, she, she really can't do much except rescue. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rescue. We got, uh, two wilds and a punch. 
I can't really use that punch for anything right now. So we're just going to use the two wilds to rescue two civilians because we can't waste any more time. All right. And now Philovel has this. So she is going to take a huge risk and she's going to do this. She's going to play that so that she gains a star token. And then she's going to use one wild to put a token down on this. She's going to move here and use her last wild to save that civilian so that we clear that. And now Vulture is vulnerable right before he is almost assuredly about to win the game. So let's see what the damage is. And Vulture wins the game. <laughs> of course he does. Because he moves two, one, two, and he bams, so he steals that, which means he's got himself seven spoils, which means the game is over. Ugh. Worst Thanksgiving ever. Um, well, once again, I have not even done damage to Vulture. I don't, I've literally never gotten far enough to even do damage to Vulture. Uh, maybe this team of heroes was just terrible. Like, she was all... She's a very punch-heavy. There's some stars, finally. Um, Psylocke was full of punches, too. That telepathy did me no good, even though it would have been nice. Uh, yeah. That's it. There's no turkey this year. Uh, not even any cranberry sauce. We are just eating our own defeat. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a sad situation. Well, guys, too bad episode one had to be a bummer, but that is the first of a series of holiday playthroughs of Marvel United here on Digital Charcuterie. And this uh, gobble gobble turkey hour didn't end up being as fun as I thought it would, because it would have been nice to have a big victorious display filming my first ever victory against the Vulture. But once again, it's not a victory. It's not even a close loss. It is just an annihilation by the Vulture. Even though we got off to a great start and we took out Sandman in two hero turns, there's... He's just too hard. <laughs> He's... He is just too hard. Andrea, you you really, you were in a sadistic mood when you made the Vulture that day, my friend. I wonder who the DC United equivalent of Vulture is going to be. Which villain in DC Superheroes United is going to be nigh impossible to take down? Well, that'll do it for this Thanksgiving gameplay video. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. We will see you here next time on Digital Charcuterie as we continue to make the wait for Marvel United. I mean, excuse me, DC Superheroes United. I'm still getting used to having Marvel. As we continue to make the wait for that a little bit shorter and a whole lot sweeter. Philovel, this was your first time being played. Uh, could have been better, but I guess it could have been worse. We really got to see a nice display of your powers. Maybe next time they'll actually do us some good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.